want to say thank you uh, for having me today. Thank you for, uh, for uh, praying for me uh, through the weeks. Amen. Um, she just said, you can go ahead and say Thank you so much. I'm honored to uh, preach to you today. I'm honored to give this word to you today. Um, I'm honored to uh, do the things that God tells me to do. Amen. 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 I just want to um, see if I can um, do this. I normally don't do this, but I feel led to do it. Amen. God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Mm -hmm. they, they couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, so they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, my child, your sins are forgiven. Now here's a weird twist part where it goes. But some of the teachers, those religious folk of religious law who were sitting there thought to themselves, what is he saying? Uh, this is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. And then Jesus said, Jesus knew immediately what they were thinking, so he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven? Or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk? So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, stand up. Pick up your mat and go home. And the man jumped up, grabbed his mat, and walked up, walked out through the stunned out onlookers. They were um, all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, "We've never seen anything like this." All right, man. 
<clears throat> so many times we get worried about um, we get worried about our past, uh -huh. and the reason why we're worried about our past is because we always say as black folks, we always say you can't come to can't come to Jesus anyway. Come on. I can't. I gotta wear my Sunday best when I come to church because uh -huh. God can't just see me all dirty and messed up. Come on, man. And the problem is, is that that's where God wants you to come to Him. When Amen. He wants you to come to Him, all dirty and messed up, so He can clean you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because He doesn't want you to say I did this. He that's wants to right. say He wants you to say that Jesus did this. Amen. Yeah, right. And the problem is, is that we all want to take the credit. And the fact is, is that the reason why we want to take the credit is because we've been programmed to say that if you work hard, you'll get this. They don't put Jesus in it no more. Uh -huh. they right. put, if you work hard, you'll get this. Amen. Where is it? Where is it now in, in society where if I work hard, if I pray, if I fast, if I do the things that God has asked me to do, uh -huh. I'll receive those blessings. Where's Amen. Where's that at? Because Amen. nobody wants to believe in the Bible no more. All right. Nobody wants to believe. In things that God has said, because they feel like man has said it in the Bible. See, Satan has gotten into this earth, and he has messed around there and got everything all twisted up. It's all messed up in your head. It's all twisted around, and he's making you feel all confused. Come on. Yes. And that's the problem. If God was never there, where would we be? Come on. Amen. Where would we be? That's right. I know where I'd be. I'd be six feet deep if he was never there for me. I don't care how much bishop and pastor was praying for me. If, if God wasn't on my side, I would be dead right now. That's right. All right. Man, Hallelujah. Our past is what got us here. Come on. A lot of people you don't like about you don't like your past because it makes you feel ugly. All right. It makes you feel dirty. But it's what got you here, amen. Yeah. The love of Christ helps you through every sickness. That's right. Everything that you went through, amen. Every toxic relationship that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been at least at least one toxic relationship. It doesn't have to be with another uh with another uh, sex. It doesn't have to be with a uh, uh -huh. female or a male. It could be with a friendship. It could be with a family member. Uh -huh. Amen? Man. It could be with those. And God was right there with you. He helped you with that, with that to overcome it so you can be able to tell that testimony to someone else. All right. So you could be that testimony. Amen? Yeah. So why are we worried about how we look to, to Christ? Come on. Why are we worried? He already said he's forgiven you for all your sins. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. Why are you worried about how you look in front of Christ? Amen. 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 In 2 Corinthians 2 and 10, it says, Anyone you forgive, I'll also forgive. That's right. And what I have forgiven, if there was anything to forgive, I have forgiven in the sight of Christ for your sake. Amen. Yes, Jesus. So why? 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 Why are we worried about how we look in front of God? Amen. Do you have any faith? All Where's right. your faith at? All right. Amen. Amen. Turn to Hebrews 1 and 6. Amen. That could be, that's, that's another uh, root verse right there. Amen. Yes, Jesus. They're quiet in here on the day. Uh, yes. Listen, I hope I ain't sitting on them toes. Amen. Come on with me. Ouch. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 1 says, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Through their, through their faith, the people in days of old earned a good reputation. Then you look at um, 3, it says, By faith we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command, that what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen. Amen. But when you go all the way to 6, amen, this is, this is what I love, amen. And it is impossible to please God without faith. It's uh -huh. impossible. To please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Do you Amen. believe that God, is, that God exists? Amen? Amen. Because if you believe that God exists, you believe every word that the preacher says. Come on. You believe every word that uh, that is being preached to you and taught to you. Because if you can't believe that, then how are you going to believe God? Oh, if you don't believe what you're reading, then how are you going to believe in what you, what's going to happen to you? Amen. amen. Because it says it in the Word. Yes, it, it says it in the Word about your faith. Uh -huh. right. Amen. Amen. It says it all. And that's what you have to do when it comes down to your faith. You have to stand there and know that God is going to deliver you out of the devil's hands. Amen. Right. amen. You're not even in the devil's hands right now. God lets those things go on because he wants you to say that 
He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Uh -huh. Yes. And when it comes around to it, you can be a witness to somebody else. Yes, sir. Right. But the problem is, is that we don't want to be a witness to somebody else because we don't want to go through nothing. All right. All right. All right. We don't want to go through nothing. Come on, man. Why we don't want to go through nothing? <coughs> Who wants? <laughs> If you think about uh -huh. when God was crucified, uh -huh. that's, a, that's a testimony in itself about yes. what we go through in life. He was spit on. Yes, he, was. he was beaten. Uh -huh. He was picked on. That's right. He was knocked down. How many times have you been knocked down? Amen. 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 Right. Say it. Say it. Well, now. He was the one knocking somebody else down. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Mm. How many times have you been struck down? Amen. Uh -huh. How many times? Nobody ain't spit on you because we. we Amen. 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 I see the looks. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. Amen. They say turn another cheek in the Bible, but I don't know about these times. Amen. I don't know. But it was the greatest testimony. He still was struck down. He was knocked down, but he still held his cross. Yes, he did. He kept on going because he was on assignment. He had a mission. He had a purpose. Amen. Yes. How many of you got a purpose in here on today? Amen. All right. Yeah. Oh, you have a purpose. Anything can come at you. Storms. Yes, it. Mountains can get in front of you. Amen. Yes. Those speed bumps. Anybody here? Everybody know? It seems like the speed bumps in apartment complexes are getting higher and higher. Yes. <laughs> about to tear up your car. Amen. Because <laughs> it used to be you just boom, just go over and go. You know. Uh -huh. But I look at look at that thing in a spiritual sense. Amen. Uh -huh. Those speed bumps getting higher and higher. Because you can't just go over, you gotta slow down. That's right. Go over it a little bit. Uh -huh. So your car won't be messed up up under there. That's All right. So you ain't gotta pay nothing, amen? amen. That, that's called consequences. Because yes. when you don't slow down, what happens? Yes. The devil whooping you, amen. Messing you up. Yes. You know why he's messing you up? Because you didn't slow down. Amen. You didn't think about that thing, amen? Uh -huh. amen. That's why I look at it in a spiritual sense. Because I know when I used to have that Buick, that 89 Buick, if I go over that speed bump too hard, mm -hmm. Everybody got to, hey, we used to have CD players to where when you um if, uh, if you hit a speed bump too hard, it's uh, your CD start to skip. We too old here. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we got iPods now. Amen. <laughs> I used to hit those potholes. Amen. In Columbia, y'all know about them potholes in Columbia. Amen. All right. Whole CD player skip, skip to about three more songs. <laughs> Mess she right on up. Getting down, amen. I wasn't supposed to be listening to that stuff anyway. Yeah. All right, amen. Amen. But you got to understand, by faith, God will be moved. Yes. He'll move on your behalf. Yes, he Thank you, Jesus. By faith, amen. Let's talk about that. Come on. Everybody remember about the when Jesus walked on the water, amen. All right. All right. Amen. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> Turn to Matthew 14, amen. Amen, amen. Matthew 14, we'll be out of here early, amen. We'll be out here early, amen. I just want I wanted to be effective today. Amen. Come on. We got a little, we got a little appetizer. We got our cheese sticks or our mozzarella sticks, amen. And I'm getting you the uh, quesadilla burger, amen. All right. <laughs> Lights. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite at, at Applebee's. It's my favorite. Matthew 14 and 25. Talk about Peter and Jesus. Amen. How many of you have the faith of Peter? All right. All right. Come on now. You see Jesus Christ on water, you going to jump out there in that water and walk and say you going to walk on it? Hallelujah. No black folks can't swim. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's how they say they say it's Jay. Peter couldn't have been black. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Walking on that water. Hey, Amen. <laughs> About 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing out on the boat 3 o'clock in the morning? Amen. Hey, Y'all ain't think about that. Look, you ready to read your word? <laughs> Jesus came towards them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost. That's what I want to say, too. Then walking on some water. But Jesus spoke to them and once said, Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage, I am here. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, if it's really you, that's, that's what we say in our Bibles, if it, I mean, our, in our prayers, if it's really you, God, <laughs> don't let me go over that person's house. All right. <laughs> if it's really you, <laughs> let me get a job that Friday. All right. <laughs> I got a testimony. Um, it was a girl I was dating. 
and she wanted me to go in the army so bad. Sorry, baby. She wanted me to go in the army so bad. I was 22 years old, and I told her, I said, uh, I was getting ready. I was getting ready that morning, that Friday morning. It was Monday, when Sunday when she talked to me. We cried. If you go in the army, it'll make everything better. So I said, okay, you know, I give it some thought. Give me a week. Monday came, no job call. Tuesday came, no job call. Fast forward to Friday. I didn't get, it was about 8 o'clock. I woke up early. I said, I'm about to go down to this recruiter. Mom and dad ain't going to know. They just going to know. Put my hand on the Bible and swear me in. They wouldn't have known nothing. But at 9 o'clock, Bowles called me. Because I prayed on Monday, I prayed on Sunday night. I said, God, if this really you, if this really for me to go in the army, I won't get no job in a week. Now y'all saying y'all say stuff to God and y'all don't think he hear you. But what the problem is is that he had to remind you by blessing you with the things that you asked for. Amen. Alright, amen. And he blessed me with the job. And he also blessed me to know that she wasn't for me. Amen. Alright. So that's what you gotta know. Amen. Yes. Lord, is it really you? Amen. Uh huh. Amen. If it's really you, tell me to come to you, walking on the water. Yes, it now that's something unbelievable. You would never think in your mind that somebody tell you to come on walking on the water because you don't believe it. Amen. Uh huh. Y'all, 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 quiet. Oh, amen. 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 So Jesus said, "Yes, come." So Peter went over the side of the boat, walked over. And walked on the water towards Jesus. Now everybody probably looking at him and saying, "Oh, look, look, look! He walking out." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he saw the strong wind and waves, he was terrified. Uh oh! And began to sink. Save me, Lord! See, we're getting the stuff, and we holler, "I save me, Lord!" Amen. Uh -huh. Even the even, even the, uh, the 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 least Christian, even the ones that don't even believe in God, if they get shot. Are they in trouble? What are they going to say? Oh, save Lord, me, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord, help yeah. me. Yeah. Even them. So he knew, save me, Lord. Jesus immediately reached out, immediately reached out and grabbed him. Said, you have so little faith. That's it. Jesus said, why do you doubt me? And when he climbed back in the, when they climbed back in the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped him. You really are the son of God, they exclaimed. So, it wasn't until... He took his eyes off God, and he started to sink. That's it. Took his eyes. He took his eyes off God. Too many times we take our eyes off God. See it, see it. Come on now. And the reason why we're taking our eyes off God, because we believe in us and not him. Amen. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us. Amen. We put us in the situation instead of God. That's right. When God said he wants to go to everything about you, he wants to do everything Help everything, help all your needs. Amen. Amen. He wants you to give everything, all your cares, all your worries, all everything to him. Yes. But we don't do that. Come on. We give it to our spouse. Help yeah, right. We give it to our children. Let's stress them out. Uh -huh. we, we all messed up. Yes. But we don't give it to God no more. Why? Oh yeah, little faith. Oh yeah, little faith. Little faith. You start to see, you start to see that wind. You hear everybody in the Bible? That wind. Uh huh. Those waves and winds, they start to disturb you. But if you was laser focused uh -huh. at God, there you go. I wouldn't even be worried about it. Amen. Amen. I wouldn't even see nothing coming at me because I have my trust in God. Yes. I'm looking at that wall back there. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> That's what you got to look at. You won't see nothing. I won't see Elder Radden sitting over here. Uh -huh. I won't see John sitting over here. Amen. I won't see, I definitely won't see Matthew behind me. Because guess what? I'm focused on God. Yeah. And if you're not focused on God, what happens? You tend to sink. Yeah. And when you're sinking, you're reaching out for help. And sometimes when you reach out for help, you're asking for help from, from wrong people. All right. Thank you. Help us, Lord. Help, help me, Auntie. Help me, Grandma. Uh huh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> help me, sister. Help me, brother. Help me, daddy. Help me, mama. And see, that's what happens with a lot of kids. Tell it. Tell a lot of um, it happens with a lot of pe uh, people that grow up without fathers and mothers, mm -hmm. without family, because they reach out and they grow up reaching out to help themselves or trying to help themselves. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that there's no love and no care from the mom and dad. Uh huh. So then they grow up angry. Mm -hmm. And when they grow up, it's not always that all the time, mm -hmm. but majority of the time they grow up angry. Uh -huh. Upset. 
and mad because there was no one there to help them when they needed it. And that's the problem today. If we was to trust God, we wouldn't have to worry about help from others. All right. We wouldn't have to worry about coming through and praying about those things and asking God to help us in those things. Amen. Amen. Y'all quiet in here. Amen. Amen. You wouldn't have to worry about um, those winds and storms coming at you. Amen. Uh-huh. You never would have made it without them. Come on. Never would have made it. Never would have made it. Tell your neighbors, I never would have made it. I never would have made it. Tell your other neighbor, I never would have made it. I never would have made it. Think about how far you come from. Amen. That's right. Think about where you've been. Amen. Think about where you where you're going now because God got you there. Amen. Think about it. You never would have that song wrong on my heart so much. Amen. He was reminding me, Josh, you would have never made it. Amen. Through all the college mess ups. Amen. All the money you owe, amen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay those things for you because mm -hmm. why? Because you trust me. Amen. All right, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You stand up, please. Amen. 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 I told you we'll be out here early. Amen. 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 If you didn't get your prize, then we'll refund your money back. Amen. 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 You know how they do it. Sometimes they forget some stuff, some sauce. <laughs> amen. Come on, everyone, lift your hands. Amen. Lord, we thank you for today, Lord. We come to you and we ask you for forgiveness. Yes, we ask you for forgiveness because we really want to trust you. Yes, Lord. And we really should trust you, amen. Because you know what we need and what we ask for every day, amen. Yes, Lord. If it's toxic, amen, Lord, don't give it to us. If it's something that we need and it's something that keeps us in our purpose, Lord, grant us those wishes, amen. Yes, Lord. And Lord, thank you for covering us and keeping us, amen. Lord, thank you for being there when we needed you the most. I come against any type of sickness, amen. Yes, Lord. I come against any type of any type of depression, amen. Any yes, type of anxiety, amen. Yes, Lord, I come against anything that tries to keep us down. I come against any type of abuse, amen. Yes, Lord. Mental abuse, physical abuse, yes, sexual abuse. Yes, Lord. Lord, I come against all those things that are not like you, Lord. Lord, I pray for the families. Yes, Lord. I pray for the children. I pray for the marriages, Lord. I pray for the single people, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray for the church, amen, Lord. I pray for all the things that you have your hands on in this, in this church of restoration, Lord. I pray yes. for the bishop. I pray for the elders. I pray for the pastors. I pray for the ministers. I pray for the deacons, Lord. Everybody in position, Lord. I pray for the spouses. I pray for the siblings, Lord. Yes, Lord. And most of all, I pray for this house, Lord. Bless us where we will have many, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we see that building to our left. Yes, Lord. And we see that building going up, and it has to be through you. Yes, Lord. So we ask you on today, Lord, to build that building for us. Yes, Lord. We all trust you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We trust you that you'll do the increase, Lord. Yes, Lord. We lift up your name. Yes, Lord. Lord, I ask you to keep me and cover me, Lord. Keep me, cover me, cover my family, cover everyone. And we ask you to give us large faith, large peace, large love in our hearts, large love and suffering. Lord, we ask you to help us to look through your eyes and not our own. In your holy name we pray. Amen. If you can give a hand, clap of praise. Amen.